I was like, that fat ass is gay. No, I'm not, I'm just kidding. You know, for all my fat people that are here, all the people in common, if you fat, make some noise. Okay. Some of y'all didn't clap, I don't know why, but uh, there's more fat ass people than three of them in here. There's Shreds. I know I'm fat, but uh, I really just recently found out I was fat, you know, as a child. For real, as a child, they treat me, they call me Husky, you know, so I didn't know what that meant. Went to a doctor the other day, the doctor told me, he says, uh, son, for your, for your weight, you should be 13 foot 7. It's the size of a small box truck, what the, it's crazy. My mom started giving me clues, letting me know I was fat. She said, son, when you graduated high school, you had a six pack. Now you got a two liter. <laughs> I'm talking to one of my white friends, because you know, they just don't care what they say to us. I'm talking to one of my white friends, we talking about fight. I said, man, if I ever get in a fight with somebody, I don't fight somebody twice my size just to show them I can fight. He says, uh, Jake, somebody twice your size is probably in the bed somewhere and can't move. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, anyway, back to the fat stuff, because that works here, because we, about 40% of the people in here are fat, but only 10 of y'all clap, 4 of y'all clap. <laughs> get close to that you know you fat, um. You can look at your neighbor right now and tell if they fat. You ain't got to look at their face. You ain't got to look at their stomach. You can look how their shoes tie until they're too fat. <laughs> Normal people tie their shoes right down the middle. Am I right? <laughs> right? Big people, what we do? We spread our legs. We go in through the side. Embarrassing, ain't it? So I trick them. I tie mine first. Then I put them on like that. <laughs> I show them. <laughs> I start doing a lot of stuff. Let me know I'm fat like this. I go sit on my couch. Now, sitting on my couch has become an activity now. When I get time to get up, in order to turn to like a double duck, I sit there and I gotta lean and get momentum and one, two, and I, three. You end everything you do it. <sighs> That's how you know you get too damn big. For real. That's how I'll get off the subject for a minute. But uh, I know a guy earlier was talking about masturbating. What about guys that are masturbating here? Woo! Yeah! Right after you done, you start feeling bad about what you did. Yeah. Grown ass man, I should not be doing this. That's crazy. But anyway, who in here on the first? Anybody here on the first date tonight? First date? I hate first date because I have a real gas problem. I know most of the big people have a real problem with gas. So anytime you're on the first date, you know you sitting in the car, y'all sitting there riding, and you know your stomach just starts to bubbling and everything. You know you like, oh, I hope she don't hear this. You know, so what you do, you roll your window down, and may I tell, I got like an 87, you roll your window down, really down. turn the music up, and you sit right here and have another beer. I know y'all wonder, how does that fat ass black dude know that song? I like that jazz, but that's another subject. You know, so you got the radio up, you got the window down, you try to turn, you, you know, she just sitting on that smile, she don't hear nothing, about five minutes later, she, oh my God, what is that smell? You, uh, I don't know. Every time I come down this road, something. Like, oh, 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 you know, that's what you do on the first couple of days. But when you with the same girl for like six weeks, you will turn the radio down. <laughs> oh my God, what was that? It was me. If you don't like it, you get out of the car. <laughs> I like going to the grocery store and pass the gas, especially like in the white community. I like going to the pro girl or the public. Black people don't shop at public anyway. We, we shop at like Food, food Depot with Cub Food because everything is cheaper. They go to Kroger, then when it's too late at Kroger, the meat get old, they send it to Cub Food. So that's what we shop at. So I like going down the aisle all by myself and just <laughs> go back to them to the end and look around. Just watch the white people come through and push their bug and they, oh my gosh! What is that? What they do? Every time they, they see something, they go record it. I need to report a spell over there. I don't know what it is. I need to record it though. Especially, I like going, I like going on the elevator by myself. The elevator all by myself. That's the only reason I really wanted a corporate America job. So I can ride the elevator every day. Go on the elevator all by myself and just. <laughs> so when you pass, yeah, what happens? Ding! Somebody walk right in there. Oh! And you're just sitting on there. I just got on here. I don't know what happened. Finish college. <laughs> Wait, don't count too much. I ain't graduated. Just got out. Can't spend all my time.
around the same place. You know, <laughs> you know and uh, my, my whole momentum with college was wrong anyway. I only went to college because, you know, with thank y'all pay y'all taxes, but they help my refund check every year. I get a certain amount of refund check. You know, that's the only reason I went to college. I'm going to see you. You must have went to school out in Atlanta, too. Yeah, I like Change subject again. Yeah. Right. Fellas, what about fellas that eat coochie at? Yeah. <laughs> huh, y'all? You ever eat so much coochie one time and at the end you burp? Me <laughs> neither. Uh, you ever eat coochie so, so much one time and then, you know, the next morning you wake up, you like, you still tasting it in your beard? You're like, that's Janice. If at the end of the fight, everybody come up to you and ask you, is you all right? Say, yo, guess what? You got your ass. If somebody asks you about the fight and you tell them it was a tie, you got your ass. Whooped. If a week later, somebody asks you about the fight you don't even remember getting in the fight, you got to knock the hell out. That's what you got. I'm going to tell you all about time.